Hi, happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a great day so far. Let's go ahead and get to our midweek check-in. I'll take a look at the current energies, our challenges, and our actions. And I will go ahead and use Tarot of the Spirit World. I do love this deck. It looks more at our addictions, our fears, our obsessions, compulsions, things like that. It gives a really good, accurate reading. Let me go ahead and get them shuffled up and we'll get going. Oops. Well, that was weird. Odd energies, I guess. Yes, my name is still Lori, and I'm still known as Simon, and this is still my channel. Absolutely. It's been a rough couple of fucking weeks, though, huh? Trying to reestablish balance in our lives. It's taken, like, almost all of April, right, to get that balance back. And I'm going to tell you what, once we get it, don't give it up too easily. We're, keep on working on maintaining that balance. Let's go ahead and get these laid out. Well, it was worth it with all that we learned in the month of March, but it's time for balance to reign supreme for a while, I would say. Yeah, we got that solar eclipse coming on the 20th with the new moon, and I want you to know most people are saying that you shouldn't be setting intentions because there's a retrograde period coming and there's a solar eclipse, but you know what? Fuck that shit. Absolutely set your intentions with the new moon like we always do, and learn to judge those things as you reflect for the things that you wish to get out of your life. Learn to judge all things in your life as you continue to move forward. You know, when you set your intentions and you judge those things that are helping you, or you judge those things that are no longer serving your highest good, if you will, or your true potential and allowing you to move forward on your path of light, your path to ascension, it's time to let those things go. And it can be hard, I understand, with all the new energies that are coming through to us, all the new downloads, if you will, or, you know, all the new abilities that have come to us with all the clairs and everything else in your empathic abilities increasing, it's understandable that things can seem a bit challenging and that we are learning to judge all new things within our life. But it's okay because it's what we do on this path to ascension, on this hero's journey. We learn to judge all those things in our life, even new people that we meet in, you know, patterns of energy. Sometimes they can manifest, you know, over and over again until we learn to work with those energies. And it can be a bit frightening sometimes to work with the energies, but we do need to work with them in order to continue to grow. So let's go ahead and look at the current energies. We have the four of swords, spirit knowing that we're tired, but it's time to get up and begin again to continue to speak our truth from our heart of hearts deep down where our angelic beams of light sometimes hide from fear of the world or fear from not being understood it is time to just speak it and let it shine it truly is to go ahead and continue and know that though we see ourselves as true wisdom we are children of the divine we are true angelic beings of light and truly look at the divine with the eyes of innocence. It's what we're called to do. They are our mother and father and they guide us always. They truly do and they guide us with true wisdom, with love and kindness and compassion. Well, yeah, it's the divine mother earth and father sky, God above. All right, so our challenges, wrestling with our demons, being assured of who we are and understanding the knowledge that is in our head now. It truly is. And to remember that we can stay in emperor mode. We don't have to be too stubborn, though. As a Taurus, take it from one who knows, who was born on 5'5 five five and does not deal with change very well at all. Sometimes change is necessary. And it's good to remember that though we can be in emperor mode and really stand in our power, our true leader knows when to follow and that can be a challenge it can especially since we think we know it all right we're on this path to ascension we have the empathic abilities all the clairs are lit up we think we got it all but we don't when you think you know it all that's when you need to look deep inside the void again and learn who you are all over again because this is a continuous learning journey and we never have all the answers. We always remember that the teacher becomes the student and the student becomes the teacher. It is a give and take, a true energy exchange through all the people in your life. 
And it's time that you learn to work with it a little bit more and accept those in your life that are here now, willing to help you understand what it is that you're going through. You know, and it can be a challenge to think that we need somebody else within our life. But let's go ahead and take a look at our actions. <coughs> the High Priestess, looking to the earth for all we need, Mother Earth, to really nourish the Goddess within us, the Goddess Divine, and the God, if you will, for the male and feminine aspects. But just remember, we serve in true reverence to the Divine. And do remember to continue to do our work, but to change it up from time to time. Well, things can get boring, right? If we do things the same thing all the time, even with my patients in home health. Sometimes I have to go in and I have to play it up a bit and tell some jokes and act a bit catty, if you will, you know, in order to get them to understand or to smile and to pull them out of their own heads. And sometimes that's what we need to do as well as coaches or intuitive energy healers. For all of us on this path, like sometimes we need to joke and we need to change up the things that we're doing in order to invite new blood in. Actually, I think my friends are doing that right now, changing things up and inviting something new into their lives. I can't wait to see how it comes to fruition. Temperance, our action, to know who we are, to stand and deliver our healing to the world, to the earth, to the astral realm, to the ethereal realm, to all the dimensions, just to stand and deliver our voice, our truth, our story. Allow everyone to hear it and those who resonate will understand and it will help them upon their path. I'm sure of it. Temperance, all about healing and truly nurturing and knowing our place within this world. We're going to go ahead and use the Rider weight today, apparently. Well, something kept saying shadowscapes, but maybe we'll pull one of those too. Something brought me to the Rider weight, so we'll use it. Let's go ahead and take a look at our actions with the High Priestess and changing up our work from time to time and temperance, really knowing who we are and allowing that healing to take place. The Knight of Swords coming in fast with all of our power to cut away the things that we no longer need or to bring more into our life. It was the Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands. That is our power right here. Eight of Wands. Right here, our power center, our angelic being of light, our divine angelic being of light that lives within us, that is the direct connection to Saurus and holds all the memories of time, short-term and long-term memories, and can truly guide us home to the light and allow us to access the Akashic Records and heal the past, the karma DNA, the, the master DNA of the universe, if you will, to really look within the scrolls of time and to see where it is that we can make the changes to truly bring about a higher vibration to the entire planet and universe. It's what we all want. It's what I'm here to do. And I will do it to the day I die. I will raise the vibration of this planet whether I have people with me or not. I feel the need to do it and I feel called to share my story and that's what I'm gonna do. We have the King of Wands truly sitting in our power, knowing who we are, knowing that we came about it the right way with true integrity of spirit and self. The Nine of Swords, we no longer need to feel that we're alone because now we have a community. And we know the Nine of Swords, we know that the hero's journey, you can seem alone, but you have to remember, you have to stay connected to spirit. You have to. You have to stay connected to Mother Earth and Father Sky. They are what ground us and they are what guide us to connect to that collective consciousness, to truly reach out to our brothers and sisters and kindred spirits and soulmates, if you will, to truly understand that spiritual exchange of energy that is all love and kindness and compassion that leads us to our Nine of Cups. When we truly look to our community for the bonds that truly make us one. You know, we all are different, but yet we're all the same in some ways. We are all energy. We are all angelic beings of light. All of us are, and there is no winning without the other. You know, the seven of wands, fighting for our brothers and sisters, fighting for what we know, fighting for the truth, 
to take the shadows and send them back and to truly stand and fight with our brothers and sisters when needed to fight back the forces of darkness or evil, if you will. You know, the shadow that holds sway over people, you or I or, you know, anybody. We don't want that to happen anymore. And when we reach our community and we truly, we truly finally understand what it all means, it's truly a time of celebration, as if a, a wedding of sorts amongst communities for all of us to get together and truly celebrate and shine as one, as one big family that we are, because we truly are a family. And we can learn to judge all those things within our lives. And we can look to our brothers and sisters to help us as we continue to learn and grow upon this journey as the high priestess. Let's go ahead and get a moon card. Yeah, it's all about doing our work and remaining faithful and remembering to reach out to the community because your healing and your story can also help the community of brothers and sisters that you have within your life. Nobody's story is exactly the same, but our stories and what we've been through and how we've overcome and how we hold true, truly can help others within our life, within the community. When they hear the story and they're like, well, shit, if they can, maybe I can too. It works. When one person starts to tell their story and sing their song, other people hear it and they start to wake up even more and realize that the fight to light is worth it. And a new romantic cycle begins. It does. I'm telling you right now, you need to be on your guard, okay? Because it truly is. A new romantic cycle is coming. I know I've been talking about it, but spring is truly here. You know, and the Tuatha de Danon and the Fae, they're all the same. We're all brothers and sisters. They are truly out there looking for their charges. Those who will take them in and hold them tight within their loving arms and truly bless them with knowing that they are truly loved and filled with light and that they are allowed to laugh loud, really loud. When you feel complete on the inside, when you start to tune into your angelic being of light and allow them to take control, oh my gosh. When you start to truly see it, it truly is a love affair with your little one inside. When you feel so complete and so whole and they can just lift you up to the heavens above and let you know that everything is gonna be okay. It's a glorious thing. I have a group for it on Facebook called um, Spiritual Alchemy, and I welcome you to join it. I'll put a link down in the description. Um, I welcome everybody to come and join it and talk about spiritual alchemy and learning to work with your divine essence, the angelic beams of light inside, and the memories and how to tap into that power. It's a glorious thing. The more the better, I say. The divine fruit. As I work to improve and free myself, I strengthen my foundations. My intellect is light, my heart is warmth, and my soul is strength. I am nurtured by the divine sun. The fruit I bear reflects my inner light. And I pray it always does, and I pray that yours does as well. I just remember on this path to light, this path to ascension, this journey, this hero's journey, if you will, when you pick up your quest for life, to truly live it and be bold and beautiful and make moves that you wouldn't normally make as you listen to life. I am attentive to the world around me. Signs and symbols guide me to success. I listen and discover the way to the eternal. And we do, and we all always need to listen. And we need to remember to tune into that collective consciousness and travel to the 5D, to the astral realm and truly understand the ethereal space that is between us and how we can truly reach out through it and work with the energies and bring love to those within our life and to bring that back into our lives as we learn to work with the energies in all the dimensions of this life. All right, bright blessings to you always. I wish you the best of weeks, I truly do. And don't forget, I will have the weekend check-in for us for the weekend. All right, bright blessings to you always. I wish you the very best. Namaste. Bye-bye.